Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an HP Stream 14. The exact model used is an AX113, but this video should be helpful for any of the 14 series models. I'm going to show you how to open it up, access your Wi-Fi card. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now at first glance, you don't see any screws but you do see these rubber runners or rubber feet here. These are held down by either double-sided tape or glue. So you can peel them off, but it is thin rubber, so you can also break them and tear them. So be very careful. Use either a small flat pry tool or a small flat, very small uh, flathead screwdriver. But you're going to peel that up on one corner. Again, be careful of breaking it, but peel these up from the bottom case. After you get them up, you can see there's four screws under each of them. We're going to remove all eight screws. After you have all those screws up, we're going to flip the computer over and we're going to go around this seam. If you can see on your computer here, the palm rest sits inside the bottom case up here. So you're going to take your small flat pry tool and put it inside this seam and start prying up this palm rest from the bottom case. Now it was kind of tight when I did it. Um, you may need to go nice and slow, nice and firm, uh, but you can get it up. If you get stuck in an area, just leave it, go to the other side, and work your way the other way around. Also, be careful not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some components. Keep it right on the edge. But once you get that palm rest off, this is what you're looking at for the bottom case. As a quick side note, before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery first. Uh, it makes the computer safer to work on. In this battery, you can't really unplug it without removing it. So you have to remove the entire battery. I'll show you how to do that now. Now the battery is held on by these four screws and then it plugs in right here. You may need to actually pick this connector up in order to unplug the battery from it. It's kind of an awkward uh, plug in there. Uh, so you may need to pick that up to unplug it. Be careful about these wires. Don't pull on them. You could damage them. Okay, so now that the battery is out of the way, we can proceed deeper into the computer. Your Wi-Fi card is right up here, guys, on the top side of your motherboard. You see the two antenna wire that are run down here through your hinge assembly into your LCD assembly. Those are just snaps. Those just snap right off. And then you have a single screw right there on the left-hand side. After removing that screw, this Wi-Fi card will slide to the left out of this port. And then to get it in, you just slide it back into the port, hold it down, put the screw back, snap back on these antenna wire. That could take a little bit of doing if you're not used to it, uh, but just keep it right above straight 90 degree angle and you'll be able to get that in. If you guys needed help with a replacement Wi-Fi card, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have all the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer, as well as any of the tools and supplies you may need to get inside to access it. I'll try to have at least a couple different Wi-Fi card options for you in that list. And if you're looking for full Wi-Fi card information to find your own replacement, I'll have that below in the description as well. So that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.